Good evening and welcome to our monthly Teze service where we are live streaming from our buff sanctuary for the first time in over a year. It is good to be together with you. This evening I am joined in the sanctuary by my partner, Lisa Heason, and by our keyboard artist, Andrea Rackel. I can't tell you how sweet it feels to actually be here together. <laughs> um, we are fortunate that we've got some folks with us from home helping out. We've got Rory McLeod hosting us. We have Walt Ellis, who is a new host here at Buff, and we welcome him to the service this evening. We also have Buff members, Rick Herman and Stephanie Rains. Uh, Rick has a poem that he will share with us this evening that he has written. Um, and Stephanie will also help in the reading. And now would be a great time if you haven't gotten a candle yet, if you'd go ahead and get one or two and bring them next to you. And we'll, we'll light those a little bit later in the service. But for now, I invite us to join our voices together as we sing, Come and Find the Quiet Center. things that 
that your loving is a miracle. How deeply you're connected to my soul. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? Hello, I'm Rick Herman, a member of Buff. And I, I have to say that I think all rivers are holy. I'm writing about rivers. I'm going to read my new poem, Watershed. Watershed. The tongues of all children come together like rivers joining into a single voice. Strong currents pull hard. The sky winks rain onto our dry earth. Maybe not soon enough for a new generation of stewardship. Have we forgotten the language we spoke as children? Knowing, reciting the songs of the rivers was a part of living in the world. When children play, the world opens its heart. When they suffer, too often they are forgotten. Rain calms the fire within and without. Creates peace in our home, within the vast watershed we took from the first vanished stewards of our common lands. Thank you. 
watershed. The tongues of all children come together like rivers joining into a single voice. Strong currents pull hard. The sky winks rain onto our dry earth. Maybe not soon enough for a new generation of stewardship. Have we forgotten the common language we knew as children long ago? Knowing, reciting the songs of the rivers was a part of living in the world. When children play, the world opens its heart. When they suffer, too often they are forgotten. Rain calms the fire within and without, creates peace in our home, in the vast watch we took from the first vanished stewards of our common land. Would seem 
you to join me for our time of embracing meditation. Settle in a little more comfortably. Breathe deeply. Relax your shoulders. Soften your gaze and close your eyes if that is comfortable for you. Breathe out anxiety. Breathe in calm and peace. And let us sit together for a time of silent meditation and prayer.
And now gently, we bring ourselves back to this present moment and we turn our thoughts to this community and to communities all over the world that sustain us. And we pause to remember the joys and concerns that are among us. I invite you to type your joy or concern or the name of someone who's on your heart. Type it into the chat window and I will read it aloud, sharing it with the community as we hold it together in healing prayer. Prayers of gratitude for Rick and Allison and their new home purchase. Joy for my daughter's partner who got a new job. Spending three days with two grandkids and their four friends. What a joy youth is. My niece, Leela's husband, Daryl Mack, who has esophageal and liver cancer. And tonight we're remembering dear, sweet Aunt Joyce. And we're welcoming to the world Lucy, who was born Friday evening. And happy birthday to our son turning 35 on Mother's Day. We have sorrow for the death of our good neighbor in Arizona on Saturday. And joy of spring and new growth, intending new flower starts.
to each and all according to their needs. May wisdom and strength and healing flow from the spirit of life this day and forever. And we want to thank you, Buff, for surrounding my loved ones in faraway Bellingham with love. And I love you, dear brother. Blessed be and amen. Some of our longings and prayers come from a deep place where words are difficult to find. So I invite you to light the candles that you brought to your home altar, bringing to mind those longings and prayers, and let us continue singing as we light those candles.
Oh
Tonight's closing reading is a poem by Langston Hughes. He will read the poem, he will recite the poem after giving us an introduction to it in the next little video that we will watch. And then I will read it one more time so that we can listen and hear it deeply. This is The Negro Speaks of Rivers, one of my earliest poems written in 1920, just after I came out of high school. The way this poem came to be written was that I was going to Mexico to visit my father, who lived in Mexico City, and on the train going across the Mississippi River, just outside St. Louis, I looked out the window and I saw this great muddy river flowing down toward the heart of the south, and I began to think about what this river had meant to the Negro people, how, in a sense, our history was linked to this river, how in slavery time, my grandmother told me that to be sold down the Mississippi was one of the worst things that could happen to a Negro slave, and then a uh, I remembered that I'd read about Abraham Lincoln going down the Mississippi as a young man, and he went on a raft to New Orleans, and he saw human beings bought and sold in the slave market there, and he was so horrified by this that he never forgot it. And many years later, of course, we know that it was Lincoln who signed the Emancipation Proclamation. And so, uh, as the train went on into the gathering dusk, because... It had been about sunset when we crossed the river. I took my father's letter out of my pocket and began to write down on the back of his letter this poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo, and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans, and I've seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient, dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers.
I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I've seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient, dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers.
Well, thank you for being here with us this evening. I hope that it's been a blessing for you, just like it has been for me. And I imagine it has been for Lisa and Andrea here together singing. We'll plan to be together again next month, live streaming from the Buff Sanctuary on Monday, June the 7th at 7 p.m. Pacific time, of course. And I'm always appreciative of you East Coast folks um, that join in, even though I know it's late over there. It's always great to have you with us. <clears throat> and as always, we appreciate your support of our Taze services. So Rory's gonna show you a slide that will indicate um, how you can donate to our ministries here if you are able to do so. And so we appreciate that. And like we like to say at the end of our service, so that we remember what's done is done, what's left undone is left undone. As Andrea plays a postlude for us, let's wave good night to each other. You can click on gallery view in the upper right hand corner of your screen so you can see everyone. And after Andrea finishes playing a little bit more, if you'd like to stick around for a few minutes to visit, to give us feedback about how the live stream was for you from the sanctuary, we'd love to hear it. So I'll invite you to unmute yourselves in just a little bit. I wish you many blessings of love and light and healing and wholeness. Amen. Thank you.